Did I do it again? I did it again. Of course I did it again. Hi, how are you? I just uh, was in a telehealth meeting, and uh, that was kind of all the irony that I kind of wanted to speak about at the moment because the telehealth meeting went a little bit south because um, it's uh, with a psychologist. Uh, I am hooked up to my uh, chemo pump any again still, so, you know, bear with me here. I might be a little bit more strange than I usually am. But um, uh, so I had this uh, meeting with a psychologist and uh, the, I'll get to the irony in a minute. But uh, he started off with don't smoke marijuana during our sessions. I'm like, oh, and I'm like, oh, my God, this is, you know, it took me forever to actually just get on board with taking marijuana actually as a drug, as a replacement for their opioids, because I'm like, I just don't want drugs. Isn't there anything else we can do? And it's like, we'll try this. And it worked. I mean, it worked for on so many different levels. It wasn't funny. I still don't understand how it works. Because if you look at it logically, it really isn't supposed to. But it totally helps. It helps loosen me up so that I can have good bowel movements in the morning. And that's the only time I actually smoke is in the morning, which is when I had this meeting. So it's like, after that, I switched to edibles. And it's like, but the smoking seems to be what helps with the bowel movements the most. And that is to keep me comfortable. Because if you don't, you get constipated and that means that I got to take more of their drugs and I don't want to do that and um, so uh, on that account it was a bad meeting on that account I think we came to an understanding so that we can actually have another meeting um, and then maybe get to a better understanding of each other after that which is what I'm hoping for because I think there I think it's just the mainstream medical industry contradicting itself so much. And he got that at the end because I said, it's like you guys say one thing and don't want me to do this. It's like you guys are going do this, but don't do that. And it's the same exact thing. And he's like, oh, so that's where we left off. But in, in, in the meantime, I was just being me. So being me, I asked questions. And, you know, he's younger than I am. But I was like, yeah, like classic rock and roll. And he said something about the Rolling Stones. I'm like, I don't even know any Rolling Stones songs. And, you know, I did it for a reason. I did it because, you know, I like to come up with different ideas from different people. And, and I completely forgot after talking about drugs for so much. And I'm me saying, I don't know any Rolling Stones songs. And, oh, wait a minute. Kids are different today, I hear every mother say Cooking fresh food for a husband, such a day and That's the second verse, sorry Getting over the no home for the shelter Of a mother's little helper She gets her on the way, gets her food for dying day So she buys her food, cake, and she burns her frozen steak, and goes running for the shelter of her, shelter of her mother's I apologize. I haven't played this song in a really long time. I, like I said, I completely forgot that I even learned it a long time ago. I definitely need work on it. But if you want to know, it's a, it's an E minor. Whoa, why, how did I lose that? Okay, so E minor to C for just a second there, and then it comes up to an F, and then you start singing again on the G. And then back to the C, and then this A minor, I don't know what the chord is called when you pick up your, your, your pointer finger from there, but that's all it is, is switching between that.
Mother of peace, Mother of the outside door, he took for a moment. What a day it is going, is going on. Anyways, that's enough for assaulting your ears. I hope y'all is having a good day. I'm going to try and get through this day, like I said, with this chemo pump. I'm going to try and keep a good attitude after that strange meeting this morning. I'm getting back there, and we're going to get through this day, and we're going to get unhooked tomorrow and have an even better day because we're going to get rid of this cancer, no surgery, and we're going to move on. And we're going to have an amazing, amazing second half of my life. That's what we're going to do. Please subscribe. I would like to give away a guitar at some point in time. I know it's going to be a while, but uh, every subscription helps, man. And, hey, if I can come out and play hooked up to a chemo pump and I can get on here and tell you about my mental health problems and stuff, just a subscription, man. You don't have to watch me. You don't have to hit the, the, the bell button to be notified. Yeah, I don't have to bother you every day. Just the subscribe thing helps me out a lot. Anyways, thanks, man. Always look up. He's there for you, and I'll see you then. Peace.